I am Dr. Ravi Gopal Verma, consultant, uh, lead consultant neurosurgeon and uh, chief of neurosciences. Um, at the Astra CMI Hospital Bangalore, we do receive a lot of interesting cases. Our department is divided into a subspecialization, from, um, varying from spine to functional neurosurgery to endoscopic and endovascular neurosurgery. Um, this case is a very interesting case of a young gentleman who had come with an episode of um, hypoxic brain damage and uh, he subsequently was in a vegetative state um, in another hospital and uh, they heard of the fact that we do um, uh, deep brain stimulation which is a new modality of treatment for many various disease. So this person had developed uh, what's called a hypoxic dystonia where there is a sustained funny movements of the um, limb and uh, was not able to straighten out his legs, his hands, and he was minimally conscious, he was not fully conscious, he was not obeying commands, he couldn't open eyes and things like that. And this state remained for nearly three months before coming in, uh, into Astra CMI. And uh, the day we admitted, we said, uh, we spoke to the relatives and said, there is a modality of treatment which is a little expensive, but is worth the trouble, so we will give a trial of that, and then we gave them a trial. And in the trial, he improved significantly, including his consciousness, which improved with deep brain stimulation. So we put in the deep brain stimulator and um, uh, it was very uh, interesting to note that uh, not only was he able to stand at some point, he was conscious, he was drinking and eating on his own, which he was not doing prior to the surgery. Deep brain stimulation is a very innovative uh, technique by which we put in electrodes into the brain and we have a pacemaker which was kept on the chest which would uh, all, all kept beneath the skin and this would send impulses into the brain and stimulate the brain um, to do certain type of activities. For example, in this patient, uh, he had this funny most postures which uh, returned and after his DBS he was able to straighten out his limb. The interesting fact was that he became conscious and he was following commands. Uh, in fact, this was one of the first uh, type of cases that uh, was done in India for secondary dystonia and about 8 to 12 cases all over the world and uh, this patient did quite well for a long period till he died due to some other reason and um, um, subsequently but he did improve significantly the relatives were happy they could uh, take care of him and they could um, um, you know um, uh, towards the end he was he was much more conscious and alert than the, what he was prior to the event. So we um, in, in Aster CMI, the Neurosciences uh, Department is a, a center of excellence. We have um, all type of uh, neurosurgical cases we deal with starting from uh, trauma, which is a very common thing to, uh, as I told you, deep brain stimulation. We do spine surgeries with minimal access um, so that, you know, the patient is up and up, up and about within a couple of days of the surgery. Then we do endovascular work where we uh, coil and clip aneurysms and um, we receive a lot of uh, patients from all over uh, India and from the world around for these uh, specialized surgeries and specialized uh, um, techniques. Uh, apart from that, we have uh, five neurosurgeons who are around the clock in the hospital doing uh, available at a phone call. And uh, these are the things that uh, make um, Aster CMI, one of the uh, very good hospitals with all the facilities available under one roof. Uh, the other thing that we are concentrating on is rehabilitation. Neuro rehabilitation is something that is uh, lacking facilities uh, all over India, and we are planning to build a state of the art, highly efficient uh, neuro rehab center too.